I'm Steve Butler, Vice President of Engineering for VPT. In this video, we're going to talk about how to construct high power systems using multiple DC DC converters. So, in general, it's not a good idea to directly power parallel DC DC converters without some type of current sharing. So, shown here, we take three DVFL converters, each 5 volts at 100 watts. And we construct a system, 28 volts input and 5 volts output at 300 watts. The following models, DVFL single, DVFL dual, and DV200 single offer current sharing capability. The current sharing capability is a single wire connection between models which enables them to share the load or split the load equally among different DC-DC converters. It's important for reliability to prevent one converter from taking the entire load to spread the thermal and spread the electrical stresses among the various DC-DC converters. In general, up to five DC-DC converters can be put in parallel. This diagram shows two DVFL 2805S single output converters connected in parallel. Now if left like this, one converter would take most of the load and the second would pick up the remaining load. So we connect the share line. With this single wire connection, now the converters will split the load equally, sharing current, sharing power, and sharing the thermal load. They will also function as one converter. So in this example, each converter is 5 volts at 20 amps. The load is 5 volts, requires 5 volts at 40 amps. So this combination of two converters will function as one DC-DC converter. The share line itself is fault tolerant. And so in a redundant case, or in a case where you don't quite re require 40 amps, one module could, could fail and would not force some kind of system failure. Okay. The share line is secondary ground referenced, so it's referenced to the output common. It is a secondary signal. One thing to avoid is a long share connection. These two converters, when sharing current, should be located physically close to one another. The share connection should be kept short and routed to avoid any possible noise pickup. Okay. When converters are shared like this, you can still use a single EMI filter to filter the 28 volt input. And frequency synchronization is not necessary, but it may be used to possibly simplify EMI filtering or eliminate beat frequencies between the two converters. The current sharing function is also available on the DVFL dual output converter. Since the current sharing function works on total output current, it's really not useful to share a plus 12 and a minus 12, for example, individually. Its usefulness comes in in the dual output converter when, when the dual is configured as a single output. For example, in this case, 12 volt dual is configured to supply 24 volts to the load. So now, similar to the single output, we need to connect the share connection. Okay, remember the share is secondary ground referenced. So normally we could leave the common floating in this configuration, but since we're using the share, we should connect it also. This configuration shown will supply 220 watts using two DVFL converters at 24 volts to the load. Now let's go in the lab and take a look at some of this. Now we're in the lab. We have two DVFL 2805S DC-DC converters connected in parallel. They're fed by a single 28 volt lab supply and they're feeding a single load set at 30 amps. 
On the meters, we have the output voltage, 4.99 volts. And on these two meters, we have the input current of each DVFL. The current share is not currently connected. You can see the first DVFL draws 2.6 amps, whereas the second draws 4.1 amps. So they're obviously not sharing the load. Now I will connect the current share. With the current share function connected, you can see the first DVFL now draws 3.3 amps, and the second DVFL also draws 3.3 amps. So they split the load equally, they share the power, share the output current, and they'll share the thermal load in the system. And this will result in much more reliable power system. And this concludes our video on current sharing DC-DC converters.